The Ten Commandments. After the children of Israel escaped from Egypt, they made their way for weeks across the desert, a long way from the Promised Land. Then, in the third month of their journey, they came to the wilderness of Sinai. And God said to Moses on the mountain, Tell this to the sons of Israel. You have seen with your own eyes what I did to Egypt and how I brought you here. Now, if you will obey me, I will make you my own among all peoples. You shall be a holy nation. And Moses called together the elders of the people and told them what God had said. And they answered, Whatever the Lord says, we will do it. Then Moses told the people to wash themselves and put on fresh clothes and prepare themselves to receive a great gift from God. Soon after, there were thunder and lightning, and a cloud came down upon Mount Sinai, and the earth trembled. Then, as God commanded, Moses went up the mountain and disappeared from sight. And God spoke to him and told him the laws the people should follow. Ten laws, ten commandments. They were to worship one God only. They were not to make any statues and say, This is God, and bow down to it. They were not to say God's name except in reverence. And they were to keep one day of the week, the Sabbath, as a day of rest and prayer. They were not to steal or commit murder or tell lies about one another. They were to respect their fathers and mothers and be faithful to their wives or husbands. And they were not to envy the next person if he had more land or goods or money. It took many days for Moses to understand these laws. And down at the foot of the mountain, the people grew restless. And they went to his brother Aaron, saying, We want gods to go before us and show us the way. Make us a god and let us be gone from this place. No, we must wait for Moses. For how long? We don't know what's become of him. Make us a god. And Aaron, fearing they would turn away from him also, did as they asked. He had everyone bring him their gold, and he melted it down and cast it in the form of a golden calf. And the people danced around it, rejoicing. The Lord saw what the people were doing, and he said to Moses, The people you have brought up from Egypt have done a terrible thing. I will destroy them, but from you a great nation shall spring. But Moses begged God to spare the people, and God stayed his hand. Instead, he gave Moses two tablets of stone, on which his finger had written the Ten Commandments. And Moses went down the mountain with the tablets. But when he saw the people dancing around the calf, he grew so angry he smashed the tablets upon the ground. And then he struck down the golden calf and ground it to bits. Then he turned to Aaron, saying, What did these people do to you that you brought down such guilt upon them? Well, they, they were troubled. They wanted gods. Gods? There is only one God. Listen, everyone. Listen. You have done wrong before God. But I will go up to him again and beg his forgiveness for you. So Moses climbed the mountain and he said, Hear me, O Lord. If you will forgive these people, forgive. If you will not, blot out my name from the book of life. No! Those who have wronged me, them I will blot out. Go now and lead the people to the land of Canaan. And God gave Moses new tablets with the Ten Commandments. And he brought them down to the people. This time they waited for him and gave thanks to the Lord for his laws. <laughs>